Hi guys and welcome back to Lilac Stables and today I'm going to be doing a Briar birthday haul. So I got all these beautiful models for my birthday a few days ago which was on June 1st and I know this video took a little bit of a while to upload because I am taking a summer class in college and I do work so I am barely at home but I'm happy that I was able to get this video together and I'm so happy to show you guys the models that I got for my birthday. So first off here we have Wapasha. So Wapasha is a 2005 exclusive limited edition Lonesome Glory. And I'm so, so happy that I was able to find this dude new in box and for a really, really good price on eBay. And I know I wanted this guy because I love Indian markings and I love me a good paint as well. And if we take him almost out of his box, we can see how nice this guy really looks. But let me stop talking and let's get to fully unboxing this guy. And here is Wapasha fully out of his box. And this guy is absolutely gorgeous. I love his chestnut pinto markings. I love those two spots over there and just his markings are super super crisp they look super nice i really love how this guy looks and if we look over here on his hip we can see these nice striped indian markings in blue and they look so 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 nice i really love how they look and if we notice he has two mid stockings in the back and no leg markings at all in the front but he is just so so gorgeous and if we flip him over on the other side we can see the rest of his really really nice markings and you can see how super crisp and detailed they are. I really love how that looks. And then if we look on his shoulder, we can see that really, really nice hand print marking. And it's super, super cool. I really, really love how that looks. And if we take a look at Wapasha's face, we can see that he has this super cute blue circle painted around his eye. And I feel like this makes him look super, super adorable. I really do love how that looks. And I love how this guy has a really, really nice big blaze on his face it's super wide it looks super duper cute and i really do love how they added some pinking around his nose and his muzzle and also wapasha does not have a blue circle around his other eye but he's still just as cute and if we take a closer look at the back of wapasha's box we can see that his name actually stands for red leaf in the dakota language and his markings actually have meanings to them. So the handprint on his shoulder means that he has knocked down an enemy and the circle around his eye is for alert vision. And the next model I got was the Briarfest 2013 Celebration Horse Smart and Shiny. So I've been wanting this guy ever since I started collecting and I finally found him for a super great price. And I really, really do love this boy. He is so, so nice. He has all these really nice dapples on his coat and he has four Hi socks and they're just super super cute i really love how they look and i love how in this guy's palomino coat he has this really really nice metallic shine to him and he's just super super nice i love his coloring and i love him so much and if we turn him over on the other side we can see that he has a really really white blonde mane and tail and it's super super long this guy is super super nice and he looks really really cool i love that metallic shine that he has to him and if we take a look at Smart and Shiny's face, we can see how cute his face is. And I love how his blaze is not symmetrical and how on one side it goes longer than the other. And it just looks super, super cute. And I love how his muzzle is pink and has a spot in each nostril and a spot on his lip. It's super, super cute. And I was also very, very happy that the seller that I got Smart and Shiny from also gave me the Briarfest button from the year that he came out too. And I really love this button and it's super, super cute. I'm so happy that I was able to get this button. And the next girl we have here is Raya. So whenever I found out that this girl was coming out, I was super, super excited because I've always wanted to have a model on this arabian mare mold and i finally have her in my collection and i'm so so happy to have ryan in my collection this girl is so so beautiful i love her bay coat coloring and i love how she has dapples on her body as well and it looks super super nice i love how she has this really high stockings on all four of her legs and she looks so so gorgeous 
I love this mold and this girl is just so so beautiful I'm so happy that I was finally able to have this girl for a good price because I know she was going for a bit of a high price whenever she came out and this girl is just so so beautiful I'm so happy to have Raya and if we take a closer look at her face she has this really nice stripe going down her face and she is just so so cute this mold has the sweetest face and she is just so beautiful I really do love her and next up here we have uncalled for so whenever i saw this girl for the first time i immediately fell in love with her i absolutely love silver bays and i love glossy models so this girl was so so perfect and i have been wanting a model on the strapless mold so this girl was perfect for me and i'm so so happy and thankful to at chicky underscore models underscore horses on instagram that she was able to sell this girl to me and all her information will be in the description down below and this girl is so so beautiful i love her white mane and tail it's so 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 beautiful and i love how she has this kind of like not silver but kind of golden tone to her coat color and it's super super nice i don't know if you can see it and i love how she has two stockings in the back and she does not have a, a leg marking on this leg but she does have a sock on this other one and it's so so cute i absolutely love her leg markings and if we look at her face her face is super beautiful i love how she has like this star with this little mini strip of white for a stripe and this really big patch of white that's going over one side of her mouth and it's super super nice this girl is so so beautiful and i really do love her and if we turn her around, we can see her really nice golden undertones in her bay color. And we can see just how nice and beautiful and glossy this girl is. I'm so, so happy to add this girl to my collection. And she is so, so, so beautiful. I love her so much. And last but not least here, we have Spoder for Bergie. So whenever this guy came out as a regular run for this year, I was so, so happy because I have been wanting a model on the Atlantic mold. And this guy is so, so nice. I love how he comes in this brand new packaging. And it was just interesting to see Briar come out with new packaging. So this guy is so, so nice. And if we look down in this corner, we can see a picture of the real Spoder in the Icelandic pose and it's just so so cute but let me stop talking and let's get to unboxing this beautiful guy so here is Spoder for Bergy out of his box and this guy is so so nice I absolutely love this mold I love molds done by Kathleen Moody so much her sculptures are absolutely amazing and this guy is just so so gorgeous I really do love his chestnut pinto markings. It's so, so cute. I love how he has a big spot right there on his withers. And it's so, so nice. And I love how thick, how super duper thick his mane and tail are. If we look at his mane, it's just so, so thick and beautiful and full of hair. It just gives me very pageant type of vibes. It's so, so cute. And if we also look at his tail, we can see how thick it is and i just love moody's work so much because she does really really good in sculpting horse hair and i also really really like that briar added striping to spoder's hooves and he just looks so so cute i really love the striping done it looks super duper nice and if we turn Spoder on the other side, we can see the rest of his really, really nice markings. And on this other side, the markings are not as big as the other side. And it's still super duper cool. I love the shading and everything done on his mane as well. I love how some parts are his chestnut mane color and some of them are white. And I also really love how his tail is completely dark colored as well. And I love how this guy has like a little bit of feathering on his legs. He's super duper cute. And if we look at Spoder's face, he has the sweetest, sweetest face. And I love how he has this really thick stripe going on his face. And it looks super duper nice. And I love how he has this little spot on his muzzle. It's super cute. This guy is just super adorable. And if we take a look at the back of Spoder for Bergie's box, we can see a giant picture of Spoder and some information about him as well. 
And that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and sticking around to the end. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below. Comment down below. Do you have any of these models in your collection? What do you think about these models? Don't forget to share this video with your other horse loving friends. But most important of all, do not forget to subscribe to Lilac Stables for more horse videos. Also, don't forget that I am on Instagram at Lilac S Stables. Again, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.